everyone, this is going to be a recap of our lesson today on um, data types and arrays. So the first thing I've done is I've gone and opened idle and I've created a new document here. I haven't saved it yet, you can see by the title. So I'll do that first. I'll just go file, save as, uh, and I will call this um, arrays. I'll save it to my desktop. Um, .py, so I'm calling it arrays.py. Um, save it to the desktop, click save. So you can see now the title's changed. Now the first thing I'm going to do here is put in my hash, put my name, and put in the topic that we're going to be doing, which is arrays and data types. Okay, now we talked the other day, firstly, about a variable. So a single variable, I'm going to call my variable here A. Um, and remember I said, this is a box that can store some information. Now inside that box we can put anything we like. I could put a string, which is um, a string of characters. In this case I'm doing Emma. Um, I could put uh, a number, so I could do B equals 5, so it's an integer. I could put in a float, which is a decimal number. Okay, I could put in a boolean true or false. Remember, if you do that, it has to have a capital letter. Uh, Boolean true or false. Um, and that'll do to start with until I think of any more, right? So they're different data types. In fact, I'm going to put a hash next to these so you can see what they are. That one's a string. Uh, this one is an integer. Uh, this one is a float, or sometimes called a real number. Float or real. Okay, and this one is a boolean. Okay, so they are different data types that I've put into a single variable. The variable is the ABCD, uh, ABCD, and by putting a single equals, what you're doing is putting this information into that box, or this information into that box. Now, for the arrays part, what we're saying is, rather than have four different variables here, is there a way to store all of those variables in a single array? So I'm going to call mine array equals, and you do square brackets. So a square bracket is not like the normal bracket above the number 9 key. It has a square end. So, square bracket. Now, inside my square bracket, I could put Emma in here, separated by a comma, and then I could put my 5, separated by a comma, then I could put my float, 6.2, separated by a comma, and then I could put my boolean in there as a true, and then I close my square brackets, oops, close my square brackets, and now I have an array. It stores four pieces of information, this array, the same as this, except it's all in one line of code, it's much quicker, it's much more efficient, and we can store lots of information in here. And the array can be limitless, the size of the array, the size of the distance. Now, one of the things that we talked about today in class is the location of all of these bits of information. Now, each piece of information is located at a number. So inside this array, Emma is located at zero. Five is located at position one. 6.2 is located at position 2 and true is located at position 3. So if I wanted to test that, I could say print um, and I could just do array, that's the first thing, and we could print the whole array. Then I could say, all right, I want to print, I, I want to test a specific uh, position. So I might say print array and let's print at position number 1. So I go square brackets, position 1, close my square brackets. So that should print the 5. Remember the 0 position is Emma and position 1 is the 5. So I'm going to save my file, Command S, and I'm going to run, run my module. And here we go, it gives me my whole array first. That's my first print line. Then it gives me a printout of what is at position number 1, which happens to be the 5. Okay, so that's the way an array works. It, it is a way of having lots of different values stored in essentially one long variable that can store lots of different things called an array. Now, uh, we might want to open a blank array with nothing in it. So what I could do is I could say, let's call this new array um, score. Okay, so we're playing a game and we want to keep the scores of um, eight different people, so we're going to call this array score. 
but I haven't got any of the scores yet. I've got nothing. So I'm going to start my array, open it with my square brackets, and I'm going to write none. Now none is not a value. It doesn't count as zero. It is nothing. So essentially there's nothing inside that, that array at all. Um, but we have to have something there to say that we're building the array. So we're putting in the word none, which is actually equal to nothing. All right? So so I'm going to start my array here, score, and I'm going to say none, but I don't want it to be just one place. I actually want it to be eight because I want to record eight scores. So I'm going to say score equals none times eight, and that should create for me an array with eight positions, all of them with none inside of them. So again, we can test that by saying print, and we can just say print score, and I should see none, 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 eight times. So I just run this, run my module, Okay, save it. And we see there's my first two lines from my first two printouts. And then here's my array with eight nuns in them. Okay, now I want to add some things to that. So if I want to add specifically to a position in the array, I can say which position I want to add to. So I might say score, square brackets, position three, square brackets is equal to um, Daniel. Okay, so essentially what I'm saying is, put the word, the string, Daniel, into the score array at position number three. That's what I'm saying that I want. So that should say none, 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 and then Daniel. Now that looks like position number four, but it's not, because our array is zero, one, two, three. So that's where I should be seeing Daniel in there. Okay, let's add something else. Let's go score. Let's do some square brackets. Let's do position number six. And in position number six, I am going to put, um, no, let's not put a word. Let's put in, um, I don't know, four times three. Times three, uh, four times three, okay. And let's see what happens there. Let's print our array, print brackets, um, score. So that should print the whole array. Let's run that, run, run module, okay. And you'll see at position three, so let's have a good look in here. Zero, one, two, three, I've got Daniel. Four, five, and at position six, I've got 12, which is four times three equals 12. So that actually works. I've got that information in there, and that's fantastic. So that is a brief intro introduction to arrays and data types. The only other thing that I would do is I would add comments in here into your, your code to say what, what you're doing. So here I'm just doing a hash and I'm saying, I am creating um, an empty uh, array with eight places in it. Okay, so that's it. So I'll put a little bit of information in there. Um, I, in here, hash, I am adding information to the array in the index locations. Right, the index locations, that's the number inside that, that um, square set of brackets. All right, that's it. Go and do your homework.